What up, guys? Your boy Quake, and you guys know what the hot topic is right now. Jay Z dropped the 444 album, and everybody and they mama has been responding. It's been ridiculous. People who weren't even mentioned on the album are responding. They're feeling some type of way about it from Boozy. Snoop even said he ain't getting the album. Bunch of shit like that. But people that were also mentioned on the album are responding in subtle ways. And if you guys checked out my other video where I mentioned all the lyrics where he's taking shots at various people and apologizing to Beyonce. You know, he took shots at Kanye. took some subtle supposedly shots at 50. We still can't determine that 100%. He took some shots at rappers putting money to their ear and stunting on Instagram with guns. He took shots at Prince's former lawyer, Londell McMillan. He took shots at Eric Benet. So obviously people have heard the album and they're all responding. So let's get into all the responses, the subtle responses. Some of these are direct, some of these aren't. So we'll get into it, we'll dissect it, we'll see. And then towards the end, you guys can get in the comments below and just debate on if these guys are actually sending shots back to Jay-Z or if they're just playing Jay-Z's game, which is sending subtle shots to each other, which Jay-Z loves to do. Now the first one is Future. Future responded on Snapchat. This is the newest one. This is the most current one. And everyone is saying Future responded to him. And it's clear that he did. And on the first track on the 444 album, Kill Jay-Z, Jay-Z had the line, in the future, other guys playing football with your son. So this is a subtle shot, not too direct of a shot. But Future decided to respond on Snapchat. He posted money to his ear. Now this is relevant because on the story of OJ record, Jay-Z ended up saying, y'all on the gram holding money to your ear. There's a disconnect. We don't call that money over here. So first he does that, and then the bottom of the caption, he says, you ain't got the juice like that mood. So this is a very subtle shot. I would love, love for this to go on wax, on records. You know, I'm tired of the social media, you know, back and forth shit, but we know, all know Hove is not going to get on records and start dissing people back. He's just in a whole different lane. He won't do that. He didn't do it with 50. He barely did it with Nas. So I don't see this going anything further from this. I mean, Future might might put out a record here and there to respond with some subtle lines, but this is all some subliminal shots, which I don't really like, but this is Jay-Z style. Now the second response is from Prince's former lawyer. On the song Caught Their Eyes, Jay-Z basically spit these bars saying, I sat down with Prince eye to eye. He told me his wishes before he died. Now Londell McMillan, he must be colorblind. They only see green from them purple eyes. Basically insinuating that Londell McMillan only once wanted Prince's estate and his money after he died, you know, and that Prince signed an exclusive deal with Tidal before he died and that he wanted his music to go to Jay-Z, nobody else, and his state to go to Jay-Z in terms of the exclusive music he releases. So Prince's former lawyer, Londell McMillan, decides to go on Twitter and responds. He starts it off with this tweet by saying, Anyone who really knows Prince knows he was only exclusive to God and his music, never exclusive to one company. He continues it by saying, Let's face it, many are trying and have tried to control Prince's music and legacy, and we are defending against it. Not naming names now. And then he continues it with another tweet and says, Yes, I heard the track. Not focusing on a diss track right now. Focused on not letting WBR control masters. He mentions he does like the beat, though. So clearly he heard the record. He says... Jay-Z is clearly lying. Prince would have never signed exclusively to Tidal, which I don't know. I mean, it seemed like Prince was really dedicated to Tidal. They're in a lawsuit right now. They had to, Tidal had to remove some of Prince's catalog from the app. So they're in a lawsuit fighting over the exclusives, I'm sure. I'm sure Prince probably signed a contract. We don't know. So this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Now, the next one is also a subtle diss kind of a diss this guy really trolls a lot and it's 50 cent he decided to respond on instagram he posted a picture with ghost of power caption saying don't let jay-z distract you ghost is still in jail so if you haven't seen season four go check it out he's locked up right now and in the caption 50 says lol can't trust nobody guys always doing some shit behind my back not 4 44 it's sunday 9 p.m eastern laugh my ass off power next level so 50's trolling just trying to promote power you know jay-z had that line about the effins and we don't know if that was a direct shot you know it's very subliminal jay-z's very sneaky so we don't know 100 percent, but that was just interesting to see that and 50 trolling again and trying to promote his show so the next one is eric benet he decided to tweet responding to jay-z's bars on the kill jay-z record 
Jay-Z ended up rapping, you almost want Eric Benet, let the baddest girl in the world get away. I don't even know what else to say. Never go Eric Benet. So Eric Benet heard the record. He decided to tweet, hey, yo, Jay-Z, just so you know, I got the baddest girl in the world as my wife, like right now, with the peace sign emoji. So he didn't take it to heart too much. You know, he's married to Prince's ex-wife, so he feels like that's the baddest girl in the world for him, as he should. It's his wife. So he didn't take it to heart. The next one that was funny was Al Sharpton. He decided to respond to it. He got on Twitter and the caption, he said, tell Jay-Z we're still taking selfies, but I'm taking care of business down here too. And he posted a picture taking a selfie. You know, he responded to the bars on Family Feud where Jay-Z said, y'all think small, I think biggie. Y'all whole pass is in danger, 10 Mississippi. Al Sharpton in the mirror taking selfies. How is him or Pill Cosby supposed to help me? So that's what he was responding to, and he took it lightly. It wasn't really a diss either. I didn't see it as a diss. And the last one, this one is, this guy didn't get mentioned at all, but people were in his DMs bothering him about the stuff that he does, and this is Boozy. Boozy decided to go on IG Live and just go on a rant saying, Jay-Z isn't God. He can't tell me what to do. You know, he wants to put money to his ear still because he had fans after the Jay-Z album dropped, fans decided to slide into Boosie's DMs on Instagram and say, hey, stop putting money to your ear because Jay-Z said it isn't cool. And Boosie said, fuck all that. He went on a whole, I don't even know, like 12 minute Instagram rant saying Jay-Z isn't God. He can't tell me what to do. This is what we do in Louisiana. And I kind of agree with him. You know, Jay-Z isn't this wholesayer of all this shit. You know, he doesn't control hip hop. He did kill Autotune with that Death of Autotune record in 2009. I feel like it died down after that, which was good. But, you know, I don't know. This, and you, you have to remember, I think the, the, the person who really, the people who really started the money to the ear thing was 50 Cent and Floyd Mayweather. So it could be shots at them too. I mean, when they started, it was way long ago. I mean, they started doing it before Instagram was even made. They were doing it when Floyd was having those HBO specials and 50 was there and they would just hold money to the ear and start talking to each other. I mean, they were doing it a long time ago, but regardless of who started that crap, you know, Jay-Z, Jay-Z isn't the naysayer of everything. He's just, I guess he's trying to give people game, which Boosie understands in the video too. He's trying to give people game and say, stop cooning on the internet. I agree with the bars of him saying, stop showing guns on the internet. You're just snitching on yourself. That shit is 100% stupid. If you want to stunt every now and then, I mean, it's up to you. It's your life. I could give a fuck less personally, me personally at least. So yeah, I agree with Boozy. Whatever Jay-Z says doesn't always go. I mean, it was nice that he said that, tried to give game to people, but Boozy just went off. I mean, it's just hilarious. In Louisiana, his, his word don't fly. Like, I don't know about New York, Jersey, and all these other places, but you know, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi, shit like that, that shit don't fly like that, bro. And, and, and I'll say that to Jay-Z. I'll say that to anybody, because I'm a stand-up type of nigga, straight up. I feel nothing but God. Yeah. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. So people can keep on going to uh going to social media under my DM saying, I don't want you to see you if you trying to get Jay-Z money, that's what they can tell you. You shouldn't put stacks to your hip. Okay, well if you're trying to get Jay-Z money, you shouldn't put stacks to your hip. You know, his word like like you know, Jay-Z don't tell me what to do. I don't know about y'all, but he doesn't tell me what to do, you know, like. In Louisiana, that's just a that's just like a trend, you know. This shit won't stop in Louisiana of us, of us putting stacks in our ear and things like that. Jay-Z is a powerful person, you know, he stopped the auto-tune, he, he stopped all kind of shit. But you know, uh you won't stop uh what's was what's born and bred in, in people hearts in Louisiana, you know, the cockiness of Louisiana, of Louisiana moles. Yeah, like, nigga, we, we do what the fuck we want, you know, we're a different breed, you know. Everybody don't have bank accounts, you know. Everybody don't have bank accounts, you know. Everybody don't know about assets. Everybody, everybody didn't come up, you know, everybody not business-minded like that, you know. So, uh, you can't take, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't just think, well, I'm gonna say to people who, who coming at me about this shit, like, like, I hope you don't think they're gonna stop us from putting stacks to all of you and shit. You know? 
That shit ain't gonna stop us from putting the stacks down. Nigga, nigga stay with a pocket full of money. You know, everybody ain't got black clothes. Nigga, it don't matter you pay me or not. I, I keep a bankroll, man. I keep a motherfucking bankroll, man. <laughs> I keep a motherfucking bankroll, nigga. You see it? Nigga? Yeah, big old stacks. Nigga, I can put this bitch in my ear all you want. I ain't getting locked up for it. You know? Yeah. You know, like, shit, nigga, that's, that's just something people do, you know? That's just something people do. He's not a guy to me, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like, if Jay-Z tell me stop wearing Jordan, if stop, Jay-Z tell you to stop wearing Jordan, you gonna stop wearing Jordan? Nah, I'm not, you know? If you your own man, you not. Yeah, if he tell you stop wearing Jordan, you gonna stop wearing Jordan. Most of y'all niggas just dick riding. Most everybody riding nigga dick, y'all niggas just... Aggravated dick rides. <laughs> yes. But those are the people that all responded that were at least interesting and that were mentioned in the records. I'm sure we're going to get more responses later from people, but for right now, this is what we have. I feel like all these responses were subtle, some were direct, which was good, but I'm really interested in seeing where the Prince former lawyer goes and then the situation with Future, where that goes. And I want to see if... Um, Kanye West really responds. I mean, he's been taking pictures with Two Chains, with you know his family and Two Chains family. They've been out chilling up in Hollywood or Los Angeles, wherever they're at. So Kanye, I don't know. He's been silent, you know. But he, I think he's taking these pictures just to taunt Jay Z or something. Because yeah, there's he just came out of nowhere after that. But yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to see all these responses and see what happens. But let me know what you guys think with these responses. Let me know what you guys think of the bars again. Uh, let me know if you guys heard the album. Let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, so leave a comment below, like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.